Like I guess it's just from her window. That's what that is. Cause everything's still blurry. I see it now too. <clears throat> so let's see. Is that gonna work? I guess it don't matter which angle I'm at. It's gonna be blurred. Good morning. Hey everyone. I don't know who's up yet or good afternoon. It's lunchtime. You probably still at work. But I'm here. We're gonna make some chili today for Miss Kathleen. And I'm just cutting up my bell peppers and my onions right now. Hello, good morning to everyone. Well, good afternoon. I keep saying morning, but is it 12 yet? Oh, it's 10 minutes to 12, so it's almost there. So, again, I'm just cutting up some bell peppers and onions right now. I'm gonna make a little chili pot, some chili. Some good old, good old chili. Good morning, good morning to everyone. So, did y'all check out my live on Sunday? I hope y'all did. I'm sorry I didn't get back to show y'all the plates because everybody started eating separately. So, that was a done deal once that happened. Once that happened. So, again, right now I'm just cutting up some onion and bell pepper for the chili. To get it going and marinating and stuff. I think it's the light from the window. It's why it be a little blurry on here, but I'm still come at y'all and do what I do. And do what I do, so I hope y'all can see a little better. I cut one of the lights off this today. Let's see how it works. So yeah. But again, all I'm doing is dicing up some onion and bell pepper right now to start off this wonderful chili. And don't forget, I'll be putting up the pineapple upside down this week for y'all and I was thinking about doing a lemon pound cake so y'all have something to play with to uh put on your tapes for the Thanksgiving so again that's the pineapple upside down cake and the lemon pound cake yum yum <clears throat> yum yum All things blue, what you need? That chili out of cakes. RE, thank you for loving watching my videos. I appreciate everybody that watches them and be here with me. Okay, so we got the onion and bell pepper out. Cut up. Go over here and cut the uh, stove on. So I got the pot heating up so that I can um, start sauteing the onion and bell pepper before I add the ground beef. We got some minced garlic to go in it. So. We gonna do our thing in here. Yes, we are. So I'm gonna do this chili with black beans, pinto beans, and dark kidney beans. Put some diced tomatoes in it, some tomato paste, and then all the seasoning, which I got smoked paprika, cumin, chili powder, uh, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper, y'all. Just quick and simple. Nothing too fancy, but good. 
and it's gonna warm you so y'all know that one of the one that's coming in so this is what we need yes so hope everybody having a great week it's hump day so our week is almost over baby our week is almost over so hey all things blue at at simple southern reflections let me start opening up my cans here. So, again, we got pinto beans, dark kidney beans, and some tomato paste, y'all. Let me add these to the pot. The onion and bad pepper start sweating now. So yeah, y'all, that's all I'm doing right now is sweating the, um, sweating the onion and bell peppers a little bit. Now I'm going to open up these beans, drain them and rinse them, get them ready to go. So, I didn't know it was going to be a lot of people on live today. I thought I was going to go catch everybody, everybody be at lunch or something. Yeah, crushed tomatoes do be the best, but I, I like to use the dice like sometimes both. You know what? I might do the crush. I have a can of crush. We're going to do the crush, too. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yes. It's both in here. So we'll do the crush today instead of the dice. Take these and dump them and rinse them. That's what I'm doing, everybody. Rinsing my beans.
gas can. Okay, so as y'all can see, we got all the beans rinsed off and together. I am going to go in with crushed tomatoes. Y'all see it? And then some tomato paste. Okay, the onion and bad pepper, son. Got what I need to be. I'm going to add... About a tablespoon of garlic. Y'all always want to put your garlic in last because you don't want that to burn at all. It'll have better taste to your food. Y'all see that? Just the onion and bad puffin' in now with the garlic. Now we're gonna add the ground beef. Got a pound of ground beef right here. Okay, so I got the ground beef and everything cooking and working with the onions, bad apples, garlic powder. Okay, oh, I need that again. Then I opened up another two cans. So then we got the crushed tomatoes. Yup, chilling with shredded cheese and you top it with some shredded cheese, some um, more fresh onions and some uh, sour cream. Ooh, baby, that's on the money. That's how you top off some good old chili, baby. And a slice of cornbread, yes. We gonna make some different cornbread too. Ow. So yeah. Yes, indeed. Y'all already know, tip another stir you wrong, baby. And I'm going to use some garlic powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and chili powder. A little bit of kosher salt and black pepper, fresh ground pepper to my chili, y'all. And my ground beef, everything. Everything, everything. So we got this here. Crushed tomatoes open. Let me open up the um tomato paste. And Tina, it sound good to you, baby. It's gonna be real good. Try it like that. I'm telling you. 
And if you would like rice to get, you know, rice up on your chili, I always put some rice down in my bowl, put my chili on top, then my cheese, then my uh, onions, then the dollop of sour cream. Uh huh, and it's all great. Oh, Poodle, you say perfect seasoning? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Those are all the flavors you need for some good old chili, baby. Yep, yep. I'm going to go add some of this, add the season over here to my, um, my meat. Y'all know how I tell y'all, season to your own taste, okay? Season to your own taste. Y'all see that? That's what we got going. Brown beef with the onion and bad peppers and all the seasoning in it, y'all. I'm gonna let that finish cooking. Then we're gonna add the other ingredients. Let that finish cooking. Then we'll add the beans, the crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, a little more seasoning if you need it. So we can get it, get it right. I know y'all waiting on that pineapple upside down cake and it's coming. Oh, you like the red onions on that too? Yep, that's good. Candy girl, Aunt Tina so blessed, thank you. Yes. So we're gonna have this simmering today and getting all good and everything, y'all. Woo, yes. Smell good in here. It smells good, y'all. Get ready and strain them. 
strain the meat, strain the juice off this meat, and get everything else in this pot. So now we're going in with the, the crushed tomatoes and the tomato paste, y'all. Get this here chili going. Okay. And y'all, don't that even look good? And we ain't even got everything in there yet. That's just the beans and the meat, y'all. Ooh! These are crushed tomatoes. It's looking good, y'all. Let me bring this pot back to you. Y'all see that? Ooh. Stop letting this cook and simmer together. Get that to cooking. Do half of the time, half of the tomato paste. on medium heat y'all and I'm gonna cover it let it start simmering down and everything and then go back in and taste to see what type of more seasoning we need in it but y'all know it's gonna be mm, mm, good 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 yes medium heat y'all letting it come to a little simmer and everything i'm gonna gradually stir it in a minute and then go from there see if it needs some more seasoning and stuff you know so that's what tilt got going on today what about y'all the sunlight still kicking. Let me see. Either way. Let me see. Okay, I just turned on all the lights. Did that help? Or did it make it blur? Which one? Y'all gotta let me know. 
Cause I don't be one for y'all that can't see me. I it's too blurred. Actually, the recipe for my hot dog chili is just the same chili like I'm making now. I always, when I make chili, one night I eat it with the rice and cheese and top it with the uh, sour cream. Then one night I might get me some Doritos and put it on top of that with some cheese and sour cream. And then one night I might have some ballpark or some uh, uh, Hebrew national hot dogs and put the same chili on it. You use that chili for many different things. So that's what I do. Oh, Latika, I need some of that chicken and greens and potatoes, baby. Now, what you doing up today on a good old hump day? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, whoever, who, who, what, what's somebody else cooking today? So, Lakita got greens and fried chicken and beans. I make a chili for Miss Kathleen. Who else cooking today? Yeah, them Doritos be good with that chili and uh, put some more cheese and, and green onions and sour cream and black olives. Y'all try that too. I'm trying to tell you. Soup is an okra. Lord, you killed me with the okra. You killed me with the okra. I don't like no okra. I don't care which way you uh put it. Cook it. I cook it for anybody, but I don't like okra at all. You can fry it. You can do whatever. I cannot eat okra. It's nasty to me. That's only to me. Everybody got their own thing of what they do. But I can't. I can't. It's that slime in it for me. I can't do. I don't see how people... Woo! But you know, they say you ain't ready. I guess I'm semi-southern because I don't eat no okra. <laughs> yes. <coughs> but that's just me. I eat a lot of other stuff, but I can't get past that okra slime. And it's the little beads in it for me. That that right on my tongue. Sorry. Homemade what? What was that? Homemade pot roast in a big crock pot. Oh, that house smelling good, Arlene. Oh, I want some of that. I know you got some cornbread working with that, too. Mika, you want me to do a beef brisket? You know what? I will. That Because that's another item people can have on the table for Thanksgiving. Boom. Yeah. Money, that okra just nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, Tina, you throwing down like a Sunday milk with them smothered pork chops, some greens and that. Oh, girl, stop. Y'all cooking on hump day like it's Sunday. Are y'all getting ready to hang out for the weekend or something? Because it look like y'all trying to throw Sunday in the middle of the week so that y'all can recruit this Sunday and then, you know, yeah. With carrots, potatoes. Oh, yes, Candy. Woo, child, y'all making me hungry. Pot rolls. And all that stuff on hump day. Ooh, y'all play too much. <laughs> y'all play too much. Me stir my chili. Just kind of fix some and add a little water. My metric cup. I added a cup of water, y'all. I was checking on my chili. Had to add a little cup of water. Get it to a nice consistency. Boom. But somebody asked me about these old big old Sunday meals on hot days. Somebody please. Oh, uh, Lakita. 
Tita. Hello, I'm botching your name up, but baby. I know I'm the cook chitlins once again. That'd be for Christmas. But I did say, because last year I supposed to use my burp. But last year I supposed to have did a video showing y'all how to clean chitlins and then another video a part two to how you cook them so yes i still will be doing that i'll probably do that at the beginning around the beginning of uh november because you know that's a a process with that especially if you you can't play with them chitlins they got to be cleaned and clean right so i have a part one video of the cleaning process of them and then a part two video of the cooking process but i can't do it all in one day no i can clean them because first of all, you got to throw them jokers. It's going to take about a day or two to throw them, throw them out. Then you get them rinsed off real good. Put that apple cider vinegar, them onions and stuff in your water. And go to town cleaning them. And you got to clean them and make sure you clean them good. I don't play when it comes to that. So I'm going to have to get a video out there for y'all. Because a lot of people love eating them. But a lot of people don't know how to cook them and prepare. I mean, clean them and cook them. So... I got to show you that. Yeah. Because me for a long time, I didn't know how to clean them. I used to, I was taking them to my sister, Lily, Chef Lily, cooking in the hood. Boom, represent. She used to clean them for me all the time. Then she got tired talking about, you're not going to keep bringing these over here and you want to eat them. You're going to learn how to clean them. So that's what I had to do. I used this regular ground beef. It was like a, uh, what it was, the uh, 9080. Mostly all ground beef, let no fat, all that lean. Yeah, it's good. But, uh, yeah. What y'all planning on cooking at your table for the Thanksgiving besides dressing in turkey? Y'all know everybody got to have a dressing in turkey. Outside of your dressing in turkey, what else y'all having? Because you know me, I'm going to have the string beans, the, gr the greens, the potato salad, the macaroni and cheese. Oh, Lord, and the list goes on and on and on. Green bean casserole. Um, What else? Got the turkey, got the ham. Uh, I don't even know what else, but it's going to be a long list of stuff. Yeah, can I eat them? And I love them. Chitlins are the best. Y'all been checking out Leah Love page and hollering at all the women. I need y'all to holler at her. You know what? I might do some corn chins too. Because I always say I'm going to do them and I don't. So I may do that. But um, like I was saying, y'all check out Leah Love page. Uh, women that love the lip gloss. I have nieces, daughters, whoever need lip gloss. Holler at Leah Love. Because it do be, I, my lips dry right now. I need some. But her lip gloss be popping. I love it. It feel good on your lips. It's shiny. Um, To me, it got a good consistency. It ain't real, real gooped up thing. You know how sometimes you put gloss on and you do your lips like this and look like strings hanging? Yeah. I don't like that. It's it too sticky. It but my niece got a good little line of lips, a lip gloss, y'all. Y'all holler your love. Turkey legs are the bomb. I'll probably do those with sides and desserts. Okay. You're right on that. The smoke naked, the smoke uh drumsticks are good. Turkey drumsticks. Yeah. I like getting those when I go to the fair and stuff. Or carnivals. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Take some sauce. See what else I need in here. Oh, okay. A little bit of everything. It do. Woo -hoo. Woo -woo. Miss Kathleen say something smelling good in here, y'all. The pots talking. The pots are talking.
Y'all look at this. It's right here. It's the money. Okay? Money. Y'all try this here. That's the money, y'all. The money, I'm telling you. I need a little bowl of something. Some that chili on point, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I have all the little glosses, y'all. That is the best gloss I ever had. No caps. It's so smooth. Stick it all. Candy girl, that's what's up. Support, support, support. Okay, however, you did the banana pudding today. How was it, girl? Like, you ain't got to it yet. That's right, R.E. Williams. They don't know how to um, clean them chitlins, baby. You got to be careful with that. If y'all go to somebody's house and they done cook chitlins and it still smell like they were still cleaning them, or you look in that pot and it got a, like, a grease on top, oh, baby, them chitlins ain't clean at all. They're singing to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Think it's looking good? Yes, that chili and cornbread. She's very excited, but she the one weeping all the benefits, y'all, because she get eat this cooking every week by cooking with soup. Y'all just don't even understand. Yes. Yes. Miss Kathleen, I can tell you about how Tilt be throwing down for real, for real. <laughs> yes. Just read to whoever ain't been getting notifications for even my page or Chef Lily cooking in the hood. I leave a love. Y'all just reset your notifications and see what it come up. I don't know why it does that sometimes because I haven't even been getting notifications either for either one of they. It's just uh, reset your notifications. A lot of people be having problems with that, even myself. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Y'all just rem randomly check each page and see if anything drop. You know, that's, that's the only advice I can give you on that one. Yes. So. Yep. Just run your notifications and I can set your notifications and also uh randomly check videos. And like I said, y'all, just go through my videos. I have a lot of things on my page that y'all can have for your uh holiday tables and stuff. And me and Chef Lily was just talking last night, so we can go on and get the um uh, y'all saw them hip switching. I was like boom. Boom, boom. Oh, <laughs> anyway, um, we was talking last night about doing our treats, holiday treats again, like we did before when I first introduced her to the holiday treat table back then, and that's what we're going to try to do again. So, 
I told her I got to be at least around the first week of November or something, but we got to get it out. I told her no matter what she do, what I do, we just got to do one on my page and one on her page. So that is what we're putting together now. Okay. So boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, y'all know I got the pecan pie. I got my banana pudding. I have the chocolate strawberry dip pudding. I have seven up pound cake, red velvet cake, sour cream pound cake, uh, peach cobbler. Um, what else I got sweet on my page? So, hey, y'all got to check, check, check it out. Run them videos, baby. Run them videos. That's all I can say. Yeah, the notification sucks. That sucks. Yeah, so we have to keep doing that, y'all. <clears throat> but, um, and again, I keep telling y'all that I have oyster dressing, seafood dressing, regular, uh, the regular chicken dressing. So you got different dressings that you can set on your table for the holidays, okay? I'm going to bring y'all the pearl rice. Y'all already have my seafood rice. Um... What else we need to do? Even I need to do a mixture of the Nate Bones and right Nate Bone Pearl Rice. I gotta make that. Um, that's similar to it. Just throwing your Nate Bones, picking them off the bone, and getting that rice. Good old seasoned rice. Yes. So I gotta do the corn pudding again. I say I make it, but I don't eat it. Um, what else y'all ask me to do? Oh. And I got a Thanksgiving sandwich for y'all to have for lunch. It comes on like Texas toast, but, and you grill it down. You get the uh, some deli sliced turkey. I got a, a cranberry mayo aioli to go on now with some cheese. Ooh, I ain't even going to spill the beans on all of it. But just know you're going to have a Thanksgiving sandwich that you can pack for lunch. Uh, give it to your children or whatever. Y'all going to love it, though. It's real good. It's really, really good. Um, what else? I was thinking of something last night. Um, I can't remember. It'll come back to me. Man, because I'm telling you, go to my page. Look up that oyster dressing. And make you a little small pan this Sunday and taste it. Try it out before Thanksgiving, okay? And holla back, holla back at me. Let me know. Oh, get them down and cook them in some cabbage. Okay, Candy. Boom. Follow your boys, turkey legs. I got you from Walmart. I'm going to do that. Hey, just when you making a cake from scratch, um, who is that? Carissa, just follow everything is right and make sure everything is room temperature. Okay, that's the best advice I can give you on homemade uh cakes. Okay, anything that you bake, have it all your ingredients room temperature and follow your ingredients is that. Okay, now when you cook in regular food, you, you see I, I season to my own taste, but with baking, y'all see I measure. You have to with baking, okay? This chili is doing its thing, baby. Ooh. I smell in here. <laughs> Y'all heard that. I hope y'all heard that. Yes, so. Then I make her cornbread a little later so it can be fresh and hot out the oven when we serve this chili, but I put the chili on early so everything can marinate and marry together and be so unctuous and ooh. Yes. You love the way I do my seafood rice, Mika? Do you know more rice recipes? Oh, yeah. Um, who that was? I mean, future. Okay. Well, Mika, yeah, like I say, I got my... I can do different rices. Just point blank. <laughs> what What do you have in mind? You know, you got the beans and rice. Again, you got the pearl rice. You have the neck bones and rice. You got 
Oh man, sausage and rice. I mean, it's it's. I got a breakfast rice for you. That's what I need to make. I think I'm gonna make that Sunday morning. My breakfast rice. It is good, you know. And I got the dirty rice. So yeah, Mika, baby. Miss Temple never stir you wrong, baby. Cooking with tilt, baby. Never stir you wrong. Boom. I always remember that, baby. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Y'all better go to my page and look at. I mean, there's so many. Don't look at what just first generate. Just go and scroll, baby. Scroll. Scroll. Yeah, I know how to do Spanish rice with ground beef. I made some for Miss Kathleen. Whoa, baby. When we had our what? Miss Kathleen, I did that uh Spanish rice with what? Oh, 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 Taco Tuesday. Kathleen? What? I did the Spanish rice on uh what it was Taco Tuesday. Yeah. She loved that Spanish rice. Spanish rice is so easy to make, y'all. You won't even believe it. Mm. That's probably what? Three ingredients you put in it. That's it. Yeah, Mika, that's what's up. Tell them girls, hey. Tell your babies, hey. Miss Tilt said, hey. <laughs> yeah, Candy Girl, they be the truth. I know it, baby. Yeah, so y'all tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your sister, cousin, grandmama, granddaddy. Your uncles and your aunties, cousins too, about cooking with tilt. Tell them to check me out, subscribe, like, comment, and get at me. Yes. Y'all know I do what I can do, what I can do it, and when I can't do it, I'll let you know I try to do it. It'll still come out good. <laughs> yes. Y'all see. Y'all see. I'm just a whole handful of a mess, but that's just me. <laughs> yes let me tell y'all something if you follow cooking with tilt everybody that's looking for a woman every man looking for a woman and every woman looking for a man you put the pet pots on don't be trying to go out to dinner stuff save some money and cook at home baby I bet you they won't go nowhere hmm. I don't got people got proposed to off some of my meals baby Mm-hmm. All right, my girl. Let me be uh, adopted out to you. Y'all know how to use. I gotta put that up. Yes. So. So we got it on medium low and just simmering away, simmering away. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm trying to tell y'all. I just got a little contract uh, yesterday. Congrats to myself. I got a wedding to do in February. I'm excited. I'm going to cater the mess out of it too. Y'all heard me? Yes, baby. Cooking. Uh, Y'all actually love cooking. I love cooking too because it's just, it gave me a peace of mind. It brings me joy and happiness. It's what I love to do. Feed people's souls. But ain't that great, y'all? I got me a little contract for February starting off the new year, right? Um, in March, they having a somebody uh, a subscriber having a greeting meet. I'm gonna go to um, and go meet them. Just check them out and see how I flow. And then sometime next year, I'll be doing my meet and greet here in Jacksonville, Florida. Yay! So got a little bit things coming up bit things coming up and like i tell y'all i'm still working on a cookbook but it's coming and the shirts are coming soon too because i just said but i'm just gonna get these and press them and get them out there so some of the slogans gonna be boom um yes indeed i never stay wrong and season to your own taste and just cooking with tilt or right, tippy tippy they come y'all so i would definitely let y'all know when the shirts are ready so i can be getting them back okay but yes uh please a reminder y'all know i have up the 20k um go fund me for my food truck so it's coming along um people are donating i thank each and every last one of y'all who have donated to me and who wants to and can i still appreciate it because as long as you're watching me i'm doing good and you're doing good you know but like i told y'all the uh cooking truck is the 
food truck is going to be called Stuffed Burgers and Things. And it's going to be around the stuffed burgers that I have putting up. And I'm still working on different ones. So, and then the fries, whatever fries you want, they're going to be um, fresh cut potato fries but you can top it with whatever your burger stuff with or if you see another burger that you want to try but you don't want to try you want to try it on the french fries you can and have all my different colas and juices and desserts so that's gonna be and that is in the makings stuff burgers and things cooking with tilt stuff burgers and things it's coming it's coming and remember i was telling y'all about i want to go to california and try these uh two dudes truck they call, I think they call being that burgers or something. Not being that uh, boys, but they do a lot of burgers and stuff. And they burgers, oh God, I seen them on Guys Grocery Game and they rocked. I really want to try them. I wonder where my girl Timmy been at, y'all, because normally Timmy tune in to everything I do. And for the last two weeks, uh, I ain't seen to. Timmy? I hope you're okay, boo. I probably have to call on Messenger, check on them, you know? Because if I see somebody not on here, y'all, like, I get worried. So it's been about two weeks, and Timmy and I'm gonna chime in everything I do. Um, I'm gonna have to call and tell her if, if ain't nothing wrong, that she need to reset that notification button. <laughs> Try a teaspring tip. You can up, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm check it out. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Yes. But let me start this pot again. And what time is it? Oh, it's 1244, y'all. I got a schedule here. So, just to show y'all this chilling one more again, because it's practically ready. But y'all know the more it's summer, the better it get, and the more the seasons get into it. So. I'm actually done with this chili. I'm gonna show it to y'all one more again because I got a schedule here to keep with Miss Kathleen and I'm gonna have to end this live. But y'all look at that chili. Look at it. And y'all heard me say you can put it over some rice, get you some Doritos, hot dogs, whatever you wanna do with the chili. So I'm putting it on low, gonna cover it back up. And I'm going to let it continue to simmer today until we're ready for it. So, it's been fun hollering at y'all on this hump day, sharing and cooking with y'all this chili. But I'm here with Miss Kathleen, and again, work must go on. I have a schedule. Thank y'all. For your support thank y'all for being here with me and again to, i look forward to tomorrow or tomorrow thursday y'all check them notifications because the um a video will be dropping tomorrow okay so y'all have a wonderful day and a blessed safe weekend if you don't hear back from me until then okay love y'all thank y'all and don't forget about leah love uh, Chef Lily cooking in the hood. TK's name, Four Horns, and Living in Life for Taz. Uh, those are all my people who has a page. Just to support, and I thank y'all for supporting me. And I holla. I probably come back on a little later and chat with y'all just to talk. I gotta go do my granny hair when I get out. Get leave here with Miss Kathleen. <laughs> yeah. Y'all have a blessed and safe day. It's been real and it's been fun. But once again, my day is done. Boom!